War felt more like a tank. He's the point from which everything else um, reacts, whereas Death, I think, deals with situations in ways that are unexpected and more fluid. We wanted a character that felt more agile. And honestly, I think it's a lot more fun to move around on the battlefield um, than it is to just stand there and take the shots. I mean, it's fun to feel like a tough guy, but we think we got enough of that with DS1. In general, Death just has more of a rock star feel about him. He doesn't wear as much armor instead of a big, giant sword. We went with something that was a little bit more expressive, that we could have more fun with, that felt a lot different. So uh, we split it into uh, a pair of dual scythes that will merge together over the course of the combo and form a single weapon, depending on which hit you're on. So presentation-wise, there's a lot more going on uh, because the weapon is actually changing shape. And you've got your, your wrath abilities, just like in DS1. You've got your melee combat, and you've got your secondary weapons. Now, all that is, is returning in DS2, but with the additional loot, you can now choose which avenue you want to be the most expressive. So if you like using Wrath abilities, if you like feeling like more of a spellcaster, there's gonna be loot that you can equip that's gonna make that a lot easier for you so that you're not gonna, you're not gonna run out of Wrath as often on the battlefield as you, as you normally would. But if you really like the primary weapons, there are gonna be uh, stats on the loot that help the primary weapon experience increasing the damage that's done. And we're also adding other RPG elements along with loot, a full stat system. So you're gonna have primary stats like strength and agility that are going to affect uh, your character's performance with uh, specific items. Another major change between the two games is uh, the addition of a skill tree. So you're gonna have to look for synergy between the equipment that you use and the skills that you choose so that you can build something that that works well together. And I think your experience is gonna vary um, quite a bit from someone else that's playing the game. If you wanted a play experience that was similar to DS1, where you've got that big, huge, heavy weapon, that's what we're offering players. To give you an example, because we also have loots, we may choose to support a heavy weapon experience by mitigating impact animations or giving additional defense or doing something so the player doesn't feel like they're as vulnerable as they normally would be while they're swinging a slower weapon. So you're gonna have to look for, for pieces of equipment that support that particular play style because it may not function that well on its own. You're gonna have to piece something together from multiple components. And maybe players, you know, that, that are better at avoiding, avoiding damage altogether can focus on gear that uh, augments uh, that's ability to actually do damage. But if we do that, are we gonna end up making the game too easy for those players? So it's gonna be tough.